So, do you want to know what's the future of smartphones in 2018 and 2019? Well, in this video, we talk about the future of smartphones. So, if you're interested in that, stay tuned and let's get into this video. And uh, how's it going, guys? This is Ed7 Take here. And today, I just wanted to talk about the future of smartphones, especially the smartphone cameras. Now, the smartphone cameras in 2017 have been making, you know, great and beautiful strides with a lot of different smartphone companies and brands making really good smartphones at really high frame rates and it's really amazing and having really dope lenses and i feel like you know smartphone is in 2018 and you know smartphone cameras in 20 in 2018 can really step it up in terms of their game right because the cameras in 2017 have now probably just reached a plateau what do i mean by that now if you've seen what has been released lately you know that the iphone 10 has 4k 60 fps there's probably so much you can do after that i mean your options are limited so now now that you know that that is out there what is the next level for me the next level for smartphones and smartphone cameras you know at the moment although the samsung galaxy note 8 was really good in terms of detail and really having that clear detail in the smartphones and the pixel 2xl and the pixel as well having the best cameras out there it's i feel like they still need there's a lot that still needs to be done in the smartphone you know camera industry and i feel like there's a lot we can still learn and to get somewhat similar quality to this dslr right that's probably what we are gunning for in the smartphone industry to have a smartphone that can mimic a dslr and without having the heft of you know just the dslr features and having all that bulk with you all the time because the smartphones we have our smartphones on us mostly 90 percent of the day our smartphones are with us and a dslr maybe 40 to 50 percent or even less if you're not like a photographer or videographer so it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to hold or just have a DSLR with you let alone own one now having said all that you know I just wanted to speak about the next level the next level of you know cameras in um, in a smartphone we all know that you know it's either 6k or 8k one of the two should come and should come very soon because i feel like you know the 4k game is good but 8k and 6k could be really amazing for a 2018 smartphone now with the new snapdragon a45 chipset probably can actually be able to hold that probably not but i haven't really read so much of the features of the a45 as of yet and i'll do a specific video on it if you guys like that leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the a45 and what are the features on there if you've watched the full keynote and you are really clued up about it just leave it a comment down below and i'll show to read it anyway going back to the cameras in 2018 now 6k and 8k something that I've been you know waiting for and there's one company that's consistently making 8k um, products which is red now red has been making 8k cameras for a little bit of a while now and now they're well known for making you know 8k sensors and 8k cameras and most movies have been using the red uh, cinema camera which is the gardens of the galaxy 2 so if you check that out you can see that they use that with the red uh epic w i don't know with that helio sensor to film that one or the new sensor that just came out now having said that red is a company that has been doing you know those 8k sensors now with the announcement of them having a new smartphone that got me thinking, you know, they haven't released a lot of uh, specifications of the smartphone just to say that it has a holographic display. That got me thinking a little bit, like, if we can have in that, so if we can have in that high, uh, red hydrogen one 
and either 6K or 8K camera, that will be amazing because there's a lot, a lot of specifications and leaks about it because Red is really tight-lipped in terms of how what comes out and in their smartphone leading up to the launch of this actual smartphone because it's coming to the time now because it's going to be launched sometime in, in Q1 of this of 2018 so it's not long from now so you know we're going to be hearing a lot about it but I just wanted to throw in some ideas in there just to you know just to throw in some ideas because there are not a lot of uh, specifications out there so we're gonna speculate as the tech community how this smartphone can actually perform because if it doesn't come with an 8k or 6k camera I think there are a lot of other smartphones that have really good quality cameras and I think if you if you think that you're gonna make a 4k camera in that uh, helio um, in that hydrogen one there are a lot of there are a lot of flagship companies that are doing that you've got your iPhone 10 you've got your the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 the S8 and S8 plus you got your OnePlus 5T I mean there are a lot of companies that are really doing you know 4k cameras at really good quality yeah I mean the Google Pixel as well so yeah it's it's something that I feel like if they can just take the bar a little bit higher like what uh, OnePlus did when they started and it'll be amazing I just feel like you know if they can do that it would be amazing if they don't it the hype might die a lot quicker than you know it has already started and it right now probably the hype is dead now a lot of people have forgotten about it because there's nothing there's no teasers there's nothing anyway yeah I just I just wanted to talk about uh, the future of smartphone cameras I think that 6k and 8k can really make a difference in 2018 and 2019 going forward respectively and a lot of the times i think if these things do come to flourishing it'll be so amazing it will give the smartphone industry a refresh and a a lot more excitement and a lot, a lot more things to really get excited about you can do something so much until it gets repetitive and boring so yeah these are my thoughts anyway this has been i7 tech thank you guys for watching if you got some thoughts leaving them in the comments down below i just wanted to talk to you guys about that just to see how you feel about it if you got any questions or thoughts leave in the comments down below and i'll sure to read them anyway this has been i7 tech thank you guys for watching make sure to like subscribe and press that bell so you can stay notified of my videos this is i7 tech and i'll see you guys in the next one Till I get up